<clears throat> Welcome back to Frosty Nights. And the title's right here in case I forget. Frosty Nights, version 1.03 by Barry McCabe. We're continuing on night 6, where I would think it'll be easier than the last time, because I had to get adjusted to the, the silliness. Things will probably get really extreme. And I'm not sure if this is the last night. I have no idea, but we're going to go as we just go with the flow and uh, try to survive. All I got to remember... What, which I learned the hard way was to recharge my batteries as much as possible. I need to. Yeah. And then close this door. Oh. Alright. Uh, you're open. Okay. I don't know what that sudden bang noise is, though. If it's something like maybe dropping from the roof or the eavesdrops. I have no idea. But it startled me a little bit. And I still hate those fuckers. You wait for them. You can't melt their face. It's just so like that. You gotta wait for the right moment. I, I, I don't know. Just I, I don't. I don't know if I have much commentary to go with. I actually do. I have any coffee I could drink? Maybe have some coffee. Maybe coffee would be bad for my heart. You would think. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, I'm a little bit thirsty. I don't have much more water. I gotta, I gotta buy some more water tomorrow. Though when I say tomorrow, that's probably today. No, probably yesterday. By by video uploading logic. So I'll kill this snowman. I'll kill this one too, because he's a creepy little shit. If there were classifications for snowman, that one right there would be the pedophile snowman. That fucking creepy scare. It, the creepy stare isn't from something that would be from a normal snowman. He'd have to be fucked up from birth. How, I don't know how snowmen can be birthed, but you get the gist of it. It's the pedo snowman. Don't ask how or why. It's just the oh, fuck you. I'm closing this door. I get the worst feeling like oh no. I get the worst feeling that one time maybe. I'll open the door. I mean, I'll go. I'll go about trying. Oh, no. I'll go about closing the door. Come on, come on. Boom. Yeah. Fuck you. I'll go about closing the door, and that'll be when a jump scare happens. That is, if they program it so a snowman is about to attack the doorway, and I try to close the door at the same time. Uh, if the timing creates a conflict in which you die, just bad bay. Uh, battery's pretty shit. Let's try to do it now. So that's what we have to do when we need to recharge the battery. And you gotta hope that you don't do it whilst you're being attacked by two snowmen. But hey, no oh, fuck you. So oh, we're, we're doing pretty good. If I don't die once, then technically I should be able to do this entire night. Pedophile snowman coming from the right window. Oh, I didn't even see you. You almost... Nice try, nice try. I wonder if Blizzard means ramped up attack mode for them or not. Maybe. Batteries one cell. You gotta remember to ignore the flashlight battery, it barely matters. All the batteries in this fucking house suck. With the door open, I can just ignore the closet at the very least, but still. Do it now. Fuck you. Bent. Batteries? Maybe after the next kill. I get a feeling I'm gonna be multi-attacked real soon. Really? I just closed you. I, I can't recharge batteries. The door open. Definitely not. I don't want to. I don't like it. Hmm. Fuck it. Remember to breathe too. <clears throat> Fuck me. Fuck it. Okay, they're not coming. Oh god. Oh, they specifically 
fucking showed up through the front window when I exactly went for the fucking batteries. Okay. Good fucking timing. Fuck me. Alright, well, looks like I'm fucking Ricardo saying, <laughs> I can do it in under 10 seconds if I don't die once. And then I died. Yeah. Fuck you. But okay, let's try that again. Without dying. Oh! I'm going to assume it was the fucking front window tiny one again. I, I don't know where that fucking came from. I went to close the door after having already just looked at it. But okay, one apparently snuck in. Fuck me. I think I'm going to need... Oh! Oh no, I, I'm trying to grab a pillow. What are you, what are you doing to me, buddy? What, what are you doing? Oh, fuck me, I'm breaking my fucking bed pillow. Fuck this shit, man. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. There, it's not really comfortable. I'm gonna die or, or die. I'm gonna, oh, oh. oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna relax a little bit more. Fuck me. This is awkward as fuck recording. But the whole, then this game has a lot more luck. Then I... I mean, the game, all the Boogeyman games had some, some amount of luck. Hmm. Where it's like, if you go to recharge your batteries, or if you go to close the door, if you don't, if you do it at the wrong time, it is luck-based. It's not about, oh, the perfect timing, because you're, you're, you know, you're super smart. See, that, that guy was fucking already trying to kill me. I didn't see him, I went to close the door, and hey, there he is. That was good timing, but almost unlucky bad timing. Almost. Moving on. Jesus Christ! <sighs> that was... <sighs> Fuck me. A little, oh, it's getting a little challenging. Fuck, not the door now. I wanted to recharge my batteries or at least try. Fuck me. Maybe I should like only push the door closed after I kill any stupid. And another one, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. I need fucking DJ Khaled sound bites here. Fuck you. And he'll return, of course. Good. Good. Fuck off. Door. Better not die while closing it. Close it. Fuck it. I'm getting. It is getting hard, more dif more difficult, but at least both moments of this night of re recharging, fucking door again, of recharging my battery and closing the door so far have not been bad luck. Fuck you, fuck you. Should be okay. Let's do it. No fucking stupid ass small ones swinging on the fucking lights and shit coming at me when I'm closing the fucking door. Fuck you. I'll wait for the blizzard to go before recharging batteries for another time. Now one of the things I will say, if night six is the last night, then I want to dedicate a full episode though to nightmare mode. Just because one, the difficulty, and the other being it'll be easier for tagging and titling it properly. <laughs> Like, just imagine, as a YouTuber, you have to imagine it in the shoes of tagging and doing it properly, and making it so you don't clusterfuck the tagging, the metadata. It, it, it just everything. Oh no, bad timing for the door and him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. Bad timing. Door, door. No, I didn't see you're about to jump in. And you? Oh no, no, the window! Oh, oh 
Jeez, okay, that was a little close there, Morty. Okay. No. Alright, I should... My fucking heart, man. I should be able to last the rest of the night with the battery I have. The only time I wouldn't is if I need to scare a, the little one. Die already? I hate. I hear the melting noise, but the visuals are not melting. I still should be good. Still good. Still good. Still good. We should make it. Still should, should make it. Should make it. Should make it. Should make it. But yeah. Uh, tagging things properly with it being like night six and nightmare and everything. You want to have enough tag space to dedicate. Don't oh, fuck you. I'm. It's it's good morning time. Fuck off. Like the parents wake up early, get their fucking coffee in the morning. They see a fucking snowman in the house. It's like morning, so they have to stay still. The parents are like, why the fuck is there a fucking snowman in the house? Why, Timmy? Why the fuck are you building snowman in the house? Now that's gonna seep in the wood floors and cause bubbling. I'm gonna have to repair the fucking floorboard, and so then they offer me up to adoption because I'm a miserable little shit. So night six wasn't the last Christmas. Like, it could do Christmas and then Christmas Eve, for all I fucking know. But let's try to do Christmas. Uh, ending at 13 minutes for one night, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. If I can do this one without death, th then maybe we can do night six plus Christmas. That, that'd be fine in terms of tagging. Sort of. Christmas isn't as memorable as Nightmare Mode, and I want to get to Nightmare Mode ASAP so I can play it and... Get the views. The views. I need the views to keep my channel alive. I need to keep this channel alive. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And my nose is itchy at the worst times, you know? Let's close the door. Oh, the, the pet of the snowman. Fuck, no, no. Oh, okay. Christmas means snowmen are extra fucking frisky. Oh God. I didn't hear the vent. It's like the vent snowman comes in exactly when a prop makes a fucking noise. It does it deliberately, I swear to God. It's programmed so it's like, ball drops? Oh, the vent open at the same time. If you didn't look, you're fucked. Let's try that again. Oh, worst timing! Ugh. Mazes are howl! I'll fucking heat the fuck out of you with my blow dryer until you fuck off, man. So, swear to god, if it wasn't a waste, I would do it. Ben, Ben's good. No. No. Fuck. Oh my god. Please tell me I have a break. Okay, good. He's he's still there. Okay, I gotta recharge the batteries. Like like. No, you, you tried. No. I need need. Need. Recharge. Batteries. Need. Need. Man, but I gotta close the door. This is not going well for me. Not well at all. Moo. Whatever noise that is. Elk. Deer. I have to recharge. Battery. <laughs> I need to recharge it again. No, stop moving. There's a fucking pill in there. Oh, no! Ah, oh. Things were doing okay. Like, I, I was saying shit was going wrong, but it, it was really going actually pretty fine. Up until that fucking moment. Shit. 
Tch. Nice try. Can I please close the door without dying? Yes? Oh, wow. Tch. Well, I wasn't gonna see him do that. Lucky me. Oh, you. And you. And door. Ah, uh, wait, did I? No, that was the owl. That wasn't the snowman. That's a snowman. I'm running out of battery power. I'm running out of battery. Blue! Holy shit, blue. Okay, I need to pick up. No. 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 Oh! Oh my god, both of them are coming at the same fucking time. Fuck right off. That. That was a really shitty fucking scenario. The one on the left in the closet would have gotten me, and the one in the front, who I, I was hoping I could get the left and fucking one in the head. Apparently not. I don't think doing the front one, killing him, then going to the left would have worked. I think then the love would have died to the left dude. Fuck me. So the one thing I did learn, at the very least, when go doing this is, uh, when I'm going for batteries, the best thing you want to do is get the blue battery. Blue battery seems to be... Like, a hundred percent. Like, each color will be the... Will be, just, you know, its own rarity. Like, you won't see the blue often, so it's a hundred percent. Fuck off already. So, always go for the blue battery if you can, like, as, as fast as possible. The time. Three! Holy shit, the night is going so slowly. Why? Oh my... Blue battery. Yoink. Perfect. That That's how it should be done. Fuck you, I just closed the door. Fucking... Ugh. Oh, I just closed that door. Ah, oh, and that fucker. No, get out of her. I don't know if I have to blow dry him first. Die. Clear, clear, clear. Probably not. Let's do it. And then I'm gonna get killed by a small one. Oh. No, but one did attack and one was scouting for the attack. Okay, that's that's good. Battery is still okay unless I get attacked by a fuck ton. He just popped out at the worst fucking time. Now look at that. He tried. He fucking tried. Fuck me. I'd rather not lose this one. I've already died like five times. I really hate how often they fucking open the door. I still think Nightmare is doable, mind you. But... No. No. But... Not from getting assaulted this much and with the door open, I, it's just... That's just a problem waiting to happen. Four! Okay, we got... No. With two-digit battery, I think we're good. Maybe not now. I think we can get a battery now. I said... Oh my god. Fuck me. I wanted a battery and I was having trouble fucking picking shit up. Nope. Okay, I should just survive on what I have, fuck it. They're, they're being really relentless. This would be like the last snowman I'd have to probably kill. Fuck me. Definitely a difficult night. Not impossible, but... Difficult. It's morning now. I fucking won. Guaranteed. 100% fuck right off. You fucking bastards. Jesus Christ. There we go. Christmas Eve. Or Christmas. They didn't leave the door open. Hello, Santa. What kid has the fucking clock clock set for 6 a.m.? Even I mean, come on, that's way too early. Because I remember what it's like Christmas for me, and we had to do the Christmas gifts and shit. Is it Eve too? Eve? We're gonna do Eve? Oh, oh. Yay! I hope you enjoyed playing Frosty Nights. This was an experimental title that turned out really nicely. How the fuck is that experimental?
I was a little unsure just how scary I could really make snowmen, and if animating them without it looking too silly would even work. Uh, I knew just giving snowmen pointy teeth and glowing eyes was never going to cut it. They needed so much weird, goofy, creepy personality to pull off. Fortunately, I had an amazing concept artist, character artist, and animators that helped me to make it work. So I'd very much like to thank them all for a great, well, great game well done. This will be my last title in the point-and-click horror genre. I feel like it's time to move on to something fresh and new outside of the Boogeyman universe, so to speak. Have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year, Barry McCabe. And then following this, he released Nightmare Mode, which is kind of funny, because I think this ending credits... Um, came before Nightmare Mode being released, which is three days. Fucking Mary Barry McKay, Michael Taylor, the animator and technical. Christina Walker for Tiny Nick Snowman. Awesome hair, though. Um, Lee Parks. Lucas and Gleb. None of them deserve pictures, or they just wanted to stay hidden. No. So, like, so, she's saying... Um, Christina, the female, or the, maybe maybe the only... No, there's more than one female on the team. <laughs> she did the acrobatic snowman animation. That required probably a lot more pristine work. Fucking, like, swinging on the closet fucking thing. <laughs> it's silly and funny. I, I don't know how they would still be like, Yeah, it's perfect for a horror game. You know, it's super scary. That little tiny snowman swinging around having a great time. Super fucking spooky. But really, it's just whatever is... Uh, procrastinates them because they're tiny snowmen. They're vicious. They're small and hard to see. What are you? What are you looking for, snowman? I'm not sure if he's a good guy or not. But um, the tiny snowmen are sort of like the slow, tiny, but really fast. Sort of contradicted, but you know what I mean. So okay, we beat it. We beat the Christmas night. We have just one more to go. The other thing, however, we jump is the whole five tapes thing. So unless I'm miss missing a giant easter egg, I don't want to quit, per se, I don't know. It, but, oh, come here, come here. <coughs> oh, God. Yeah, fuck you. <coughs> fuck me. What happened to the tapes? He said he had five tapes he wanted to listen to. So what happened to those tapes? That's fucking weird. I, I was interested in finding those five tapes. Um. No, seriously. Um, the starting game it said five tapes. I found one of them, and it told the story, which then you know scared the kid, or brought the topic of maybe the kid was just having bad dreams or nightmares because he was listening to scary stories on the tape cassette. But they said he had five. But that doesn't make sense in the fact of, well, what if he just, you know, used tape two on night two, tape three on night three, but we didn't find them, and there's six nights in Christmas. So what is the point of the tapes in saying find them all when I can't find them all? So unless it is a super hidden Easter egg where in night one and two, when you can free roam, the tapes are actually findable. The issue is when you do find the one... They, uh, it goes in the tape and the, the level starts. I'm just kind of curious where the fucking five tapes thing, where does it go? What, what happened to the five fucking tapes? Mystery door. Maybe it has to do with a mystery door. I'm going to have to presume it's a maybe. So I wouldn't think they'd just bring up tapes and then just, you know, fucking discard it and throw it out. So it's either mystery door happens because I beat nightmare mode. Or mystery door will be for another set of DLC at a later time. Or, maybe I have to play as the boy and the girl to open and lock both. Maybe the developer will help uh, enlighten me. Maybe, maybe not. But this is the end of this episode, and I'm going to try Nightmare Mode. Oh, in one night. It's going to be so much fun. Actually, I, I really should go to bed, too. Or try to, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. The fucking chapel. Like, that's a, like, the diagonal chairs, the fucking tables would be there, the treasure chest right around fucking here. Well, I, I don't think you'd be able to see my mouse. Right to the left, that giant fucking key would be the treasure chest. Okay, so to go to one of the chairs.
Good to know. Oh, fuck me. Holy shit. Jesus. 